So we're carrying on our Europa League journey away at Zenit St. Petersburg in this game today. Let's dive into it and see how it all unfolds because it's uh, it's pretty good. We've got a lot of people stating good things at the club. I've got dreams at this club. We've drawn 2-2 with Inter. Um, Shaq Vatidis and Hlozek are, are being rumoured with bigger moves away, but we don't have any plans to sell them. As you can see... We have dropped to sixth position, but it's three wins, one draw, one loss. Lazio flying ahead, five wins um, out of five. Juventus, four wins, one loss. Fiorentina, four wins, one loss. And Atalanta, four wins, one loss as well. The results have been pretty good, to be honest. I mean, we're still not that bad. Inter, 2-2. Two, two. We beat Udinese, 3-0. Uh, Milan, we lost 2-0. Uh, and Sporting Braga, we beat 1-0 in the last episode. But yeah, Zenit today... Away could be a tough game in the Europa League. We've then got um, Atalanta, who are flying high in the league table as well. So it should be a pretty interesting game. As you can probably tell from my voice today, no hangover is around and uh, we are feeling good. We're looking good. We're expecting this result to uh, to go our way. Uh, we are going to start Thiago Dantas, although Torres gives us such a bigger boost in team spirit. We'll, we'll go with that. In fact, let's go for Dantas and Torres. It's probably not the game we actually really want to rotate too much, but I think we're going to have to because looking at the stamina, a big game against Atalanta coming up. McKenzie can start ahead of Nino. That's fine. Um, let's put Neto in goal. We'll have Miangi can come on the bench, although, yeah, I don't know. Krugano can, can go on the bench because Ad Adonacci is down. Cristante can come out for... For, we need a striker, so Brenner's up for it. What's that leaving us like? It's leaving a striker, one centre mid, left back, right back, who can both play on the wings as well. Two centre backs is a bit unnecessary. So um, let's go. We'll go for another striker. Let's put Gonzalez and Brenner both on the uh, on the bench for this one, and we'll just make it so it's all in order. There we go. So two strikers, centre midfielder, right back, left back, centre back, and goalkeeper. I think. We're, uh, we're about ready to go. We'll just go and check all of the... Uh, yeah, centering targets is the only one we want to play with. They're lining up in a 4-2... Well, 4-4-2 or 4-4-1-1, technically. They've got Desaiba up front. Monster of a man. Really tall. Like, going to be causing us havoc with those long balls, corners, set pieces. He's going to be the man they're looking at. We've got Seri and Sorloff, two of our own big guys up there as well. Let's dive into the game, see how we get on. So, hello folks, welcome to Chile, Russia at the Gazprom Arena, which is looking fantastic in-game. It really, really is. There is Vakileski for us at the back, and they've got uh, some Brazilian who's leading them out, whose name I can't remember. It's a centre-back, I think, but I can't remember his name. Um, but the teams are coming out of the tunnel. The stadium is packed to the rafters, and the Zenit fans are applauding nicely. I think it would be a bit more raucous in real life, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, strong lineup pick for this one. A few changes in it as well. Shaq Fatidis keeps his place, as does Ishmael Saar on the right-hand side. He's, his pace has become really useful. Getting in behind, putting crosses in, that's what we that's what we want to do. Seri and Sorloff start up front, so it should be a very good game. I think we're just about ready for it, so let's get cracking. And here we go, then. It is Zenit St. Petersburg, the home team, that kick us off and get us underway. Will Barrios in the middle. He's probably going to be pretty key. You would imagine as uh, Druisi goes up towards Malcolm. And uh, Malcolm, you can see early on there, looking for Duzuba. Duzuba? Duzuba, I think is how you pronounce it. That's a good little poke through there. Hlozek has it. He's got Shaq Fatidis in a little bit of space. He can go out towards Torres. Back into the starting lineup today. His pass is really bad. And uh, Duzuba can win it back. But oh, Hlozek is there straight away to win the ball. He looks for Torres again. Can Torres pick a better pass this time? Yes, he can, because Shaq Fatidis picks that one up. Looks to dink it in towards Klozek, beaten in the air. But it will be a Cagliari throw. Five minutes in, a good start. Um, you can see straight away Zenit were just trying to get it into Dizuba's feet. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't gone a bit more of an aerial route, but we haven't had too much time to check. Torres will float this one up towards... Oh, our big man Seri. Oh, Shaq Fatidis is going to have a rocket of an effort there. Klozek, can he get this under control? He can. Looks to put it in towards Shaq Fatidis again. Torres is over it. Torres, lovely little bit of footwork. Torres, left-footed shot, couldn't make the most of it. Corner ball, and uh, we've we've come out to attack here. Look at the fans, looking despondent here for Zenit St. Petersburg. Torres picks it up, lovely little footwork, left-footed drive, it was a good block, and then headed behind, safety first for a corner, and uh, Shaq Fatides is over this one. 
I'm wondering if they've left. I'm going to assume they've left uh, Dizarba up front. We're actually going to go really short. Try something a little bit different. Bakalevsky. Back to Shaq for Didis. Can swing this one in towards the back post. Seri's there. It's going to fall to Benkovic. Oh, the centre-back had a volley. And it was into a crowd of players. And, uh, well, I think I think it was on target. And I think Zenit may have got a little bit lucky there. Oh, that's a terrible clearance from Eduardo. And Thiago Dantas is going to pick this one up. He can flick it into Seri, who's just a... Uh, well, there's not too much pressure on him here, Seri. And he's got round one. Seri shoots. Great save from the keeper, whose name I don't know. And uh, it's a good, great little goal. It's a terrible clearance from Eduardo. Dan just flicked in. No one went to pressure Seri. He could turn, face the goal. A little bit of movement to get around his man. Fantastic one-added save to touch it around the post. And uh, it'll be a corner. And that is one very happy goalkeeper for making that save, which is which is good for him. Shaq Fatidis over this one. Let's go for a bit more of a traditional approach with the corner. Swing this one in. Oh, I thought it was going to be an own goal. Man at the front post does his job, though. As, uh, what can we do here? Who can, where, yeah, let's get Ishmael Saar on it, actually. Let's go into Saar's feet here. We're going to go little touch. Put it in. Oh, it's trying to go for an early cross. Vakaleski's under it, though. He can't win the header. Torres is there. He can flick it back out to uh, Ishmaeli Saar. And, and, oh, look at that. That's what I mean by his pace. He can just accelerate away from people. And it goes towards... Shaq for Tidis. not the tallest player in the uh, in the air though, or not, well, not the tallest player, and therefore not the best header of the ball. But Zenit and Petersburg again, just looking to keep it in possession, go long up again, looking for Dizuba. Vakaleski beats the very tall Russian in the air though. Shaq for Tidis gets a second chance at that pass. Sorloff can put it through to uh, Hlozek. He's not got too much working for him at the moment. Dantas into Torres. It's been pretty. Pretty relentless, relentless from us here. Saar can try and flip and referee. That looked horrendous, that tackle. But Saar's going to try and play on. And, uh, oh, is that a foul? No, Barrios gets the ball. And Zenit and Petersburg just literally cannot get out at the moment. It's th Their default is now a long ball to Dizuba, but it's just not working. Santos goes back to Plokin, out to Mamana. Back to Plokin again. Now they are trying to keep the ball a bit. Douglas Santos. Douglas, Douglas Santos is what I was trying to say. The Luisi. McKenzie comes and gives away a foul. I don't mind that. It's going to be a, one hell of a delivery in here to find Daisuba and make it count. But yeah, 20-ish minutes gone. A little bit more than 20 minutes, I think. And we've been the better team, but we're struggling to create any clear-cut chances at the moment. It's going to be Santos to put this one in. And uh, that's a very bad delivery. Daisuba will try and make the most of it. Kuziev picks it up. Kuziev goes out to Eduardo, who from right back has pushed on a little bit. Hlozek actually marshals him really well. Plays that infield to Thiago Dantas, who can see Ishmael Saar making a run. And has he managed to float that over the top? No, he hasn't. Santos reads it well and uh, saves off a bit of trouble for now. Sorloth into Shaq Fatidis, puts it out wide looking for Hlozek, who's going to have the pace to get there. And he does get past his man. Hlozek dinks it in towards Sorloth with a header. Oh, is it the bar? A little floaty cross to the front post was nearly enough. And it hits the bar. We've been all over him, and that is probably our best chance. Sorloff, it's because he yeah, he wasn't sort of running onto it. He was just jumping up vertically, and it just made it a bit difficult. Okay, Zenit and Petersburg have had a little bit of possession now. And uh, you can see that they're, they're trying to work something. I'm not really too sure what it is. Eventually, they just go long, and that should be easy for Vakalevsky, and it is Torres. Torres can just uh, hold this one up. He finds... Oh, no, he doesn't find Dantas because the pass isn't the most accurate. Eduardo, the right back, under pressure, but does well. Sorloff, back to Eduardo. Hlozek comes to put a bit of pressure on. Ozdez finds Kuyasev. Kuyasev, oh, Benkovic, that's a great challenge to win that one. Hlozek, back heel, can find Dantas. He's going to go all the way into Seri's feet, and Seri can get this one under control. Out to Saar. Saar... Up against Santos, and he's defended it really well, annoyingly. Uh, but Santos gets it away. Druisi. Druisi goes long up to Dizuba, and that's the first time I think Dizuba's actually won a flick on. It's forced Malcolm a little bit wide, and he gets around the attempted challenge from McKenzie. And Malcolm's still going. Malcolm's got the pace ahead of McKenzie here, and it goes. Benkovic got back to deal with uh, Dizuba. Dantas flicks that on, and can we get our own little counter attack going here? Hlozek should have the pace. Go on, mate, have the pace. There we go. Nice touch out of his fleet from Hololozek. Hlozek looks to dink it in. I've just hit the man square in the face. Dizuba puts that one through and Malcolm could be him. Keeper comes out and Malcolm's missed the target. That was sort of counter of counter of counter. You can see it here. Malcolm into Dizuba. He got the wrong side of, of uh, Vakalevsky. Couldn't get back at him. Nick knocked it into Malcolm and then the left-footed drive 
Whoa, just past the post. We have five minutes to go until half time. This is very much feeling like a game that you sort of realise that you think a bit of pace could be the difference for us here as, well, the goalkeeper may have got a little bit lucky there as uh, it definitely looked like he took the striker out. But referee says play on. No VAR to change the uh, change the decision as uh, Shaq Fatidis looks forward. Dantas. Dantas to Sorloth. Sorloth, there's just no real options. He lays it off to Hozek. Back to uh, back to Sorloth again. Just not, nothing really happening. He picks out Saar. Around the corner looking to Seri. It's cleared away. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe a big man, little man combination might be better. Two shots for them. One on target. Four for us, two on target. Sorloth hasn't really done very much. Brenner has more pace. Gonzalez is full on pace. We're going to go Gonzalez. I want that. I want outright fox in the box pace. Po goal poaching. Seri to win the flick-ons. Gonzalez to put the ball in the back of the net. That's what we're going with in this second half. We're going to keep it as it is. Um, other than that one change, we'll, we'll stick with the formation. I feel like it is working reasonably well. And we are stifling, uh, although saying that, saying we are stifling them, we do get men back, which is good. And we'll just clear our lines with that one. It actually reaches the uh, feet of Alberto Seri. And Saar takes over. He's got Shaq Fatidis in towards Gonzalez. Into Seri. Look to, back towards Gonzalez. Acrobatic clearance gets it away. And uh, Dizuba there showing... He is a very mean feat in the air, out jumping Thiago Dantas. Back to Dizuba, round the corner. Benkovic well placed to intercept it. Saar into Shaq Fatidis. He flicks it onto Seri. Seri, oh, it's not a good pass from Alberto Seri. And then it's St. Petersburg. Hold on to possession. Saar on it on this right hand side. And he's got options. Obviously, one less big man to aim at now. We really need Seri to be getting into the box and being that focal point. Now that we've got Gonzalez up there with him, who is all about pace and not about winning headers. It does sort of change what we need Seri to do because Sorloth and Seri could rotate a little bit before, but Gonzalez is actually going to get on this one. And he can give that into Saar, and Saar, that's such a shit pass. Come on. Neto, long ball forward looking for Seri, who does win the flick on. And uh, Saar is here. Tries to put this one up towards Shaq Fatidis, but again, not. it's not who we want to be challenging for headers, is it? Shaq Fatidis and Gonzalez, and now I'm thinking... Maybe keeping Soloth on might have been the right thing to do. Good pressure from Vakalevsky. It'll be a throw into Zenit. But yeah, with half an hour to go, we've, we're still the better team. We're just not making it count as they bring off the big man and bring on Asmoon, who is very, very good. Asmoon as a striker. Again, different thing to deal with now. It's more pace for Zenit. Are they going to be looking to be putting balls in behind our defence rather than up to uh, Dizuba for knockdowns to Malcolm Barrios? Goes out towards... Eduardo, he manages to squeeze that one through. Klozek should have that covered. Tries to turn and get it away. Shaq Fatidis. Now there is a break on here. Because Shaq Fatidis can find the feet of Seri. And Seri can... Oh, Seri, you cannot pass. You're literally there to win headers. That's what you do. Win headers and have a powerful shot. That is what Alberto Seri does in Pez. Malcolm, that's a good ball through to Kuzayev. Kuzayev puts it in towards Waters Moon. And well, Vakalevsky just about gets a foot to it. It's flicked on. It's going to fall to... Ozdiov, and it goes towards Druisi, and Mackenzie's caught out of position. Druisi turns, can get a shot off. He's at the post. Zenit St. Petersburg showing there's still a danger in this game as uh, it does just about go out for a Cagliari throw. We're just going to try and swing this one around. A bit dangerous doing that, but it's worked. Mackenzie up towards Saar, and there's definitely a, a change of momentum here. It's all sort of in the favour of, uh, of Zenit at the moment. So a change for us. And Diego Delo is just replacing Saar, who uh, he just got in, uh, just got fouled, actually, for the free kick. So Diego Delo can come on, and I think Delo will just take this straight away. I think he's our best crosser and free kick taker. And uh, where is Alberto Seri? There he is. Right, up towards Seri. Come on, get your head on it. Get your head on it, Seri. He does get his head on it. But again, Shaq Fatidis can't get the second ball. Mackenzie... Knocks it down. Thiago Dantas picks up Torres' back heel. Hlozek can knock that one through into Gonzalez. Gonzalez just trying to use some strength. He's not known for it. And he's won a free kick in a very dangerous position when we've just put on Diego Delo. Great strength from Gonzalez. Really not known for that. And he's done really, really well. And uh, well, I think Shaq Fatidis is... Oh, no, it is still Shaq Fatidis. Okay, Shaq Fatidis. It's a tall wall, that. Very tall wall. Shaq Fatidis, can he get it up and down over the wall? He can, but he can't beat the bar. He's going to have a volleyed effort. That's blocked. And uh, Torres keeps it just about alive. Diego Delo 
What can he do here? Up against Mamana, the centre-back who's come out to meet him. He's actually created a bit of space, but couldn't get the cross in. Oh, hit the bar. Shakovatidis. So unlucky as uh, Kuyezev on the right is replaced by Habubula, which is a great name. Diego Delo throws it back in into Shakovatidis. Back towards Torres. Torres is waiting for Delo, who picks up a little bit of space, and Delo can swing this one in towards Seri. Oh! That's what I said. He's there to win headers, and he wins it. It's just off target. Not the best aiming, but a very quick little give and go off the throw. Got space for Diego Delo, and he's got a wicked cross on him. Lovely ball in, and Seri just gets it wrong. Here is Habibula, the substitute coming on. He's uh, well, turned away from Benkovic there. Malcolm swings it around the corner to Eduardo. Tries to put the cross in towards us, Moon. Over the bar. They're looking dangerous, then it? 15 to go. So we've made our third and final change, and it's going to be on the opposite wing. Klozek on, uh, off, sorry. Tavares on. So we've now gone for two new sort of wing backs. Try and keep the pace going as uh, Mackenzie does well to get a foot on that, but can't stop the ball, and luckily it hit Mazmoon. Here is Shaq Fatidis. Gonzalez can play it into Seri. He can flick it on one more. Looking for Torres. Again, not a good pass. Some of our passing has really let us down today as uh, Plokin is there. I think, you know, a draw before the game, I probably would have taken it, but th the way we've played, we've been the better team by quite some margin. And uh, you just sort of feel like we, sh we should have scored. Gonzalez can hold this one up. Can I do a reverse? Oh, Tavares, you did a reverse pass and then cut inside. Perfect run and then just change the direction of it right at the last minute. Seri looks for Gonzalez. Mamana's there again. I feel like there's I feel like there's a goal in this for us. Delo's read that really well. Seri can give it back to Diogo Delo. Diogo Delo is in. Diogo Delo. Oh, the keeper's made a save. Someone in the comments said stop doing the lob and I've done, not done it and I've missed. Oh, rubbish. Diogo Delo, that was the chance. Interception in midfield. 1-2 is Seri. Completely through on goal. <sighs> That's why he's a right back. Then it's a bit of have made their third and final sub as well. Diego Delo is going to try and ping this one into the box. It's a good ball. Keeper's made a right mess of it, but what's been given here? Oh, I think Seri's had a foul given against him. As it came in, yeah, he's gone for the poke, thinking the keeper might miss it. He's just kicked the defender and definite free kick. Gonzalez picks up a, a bit of a rubbish ball there as he looks to poke it through and it is actually offside. Urgh! Come on, Seri. Just got to hold that run ever so slightly. And Gonzalez to Seri is not the way we want it to happen. Three minutes to go. Odievsky goes long with it again. Shaq Fatidis does win the header. Seri's there and he's got Gonzalez, this is it. This is what we wanted, the pace. Come on, Gonzalez, you got this. Oh, referee, horrendous tackle there. Give him a yellow card. Come on, for Prokin. Gonz he knew Gonzalez had him done for pace. He knew, he knew it. Right, Diogo Delo over it. Can we just put it into that little gap there? It's a, it's a decent ball in. Oh, my word, nearly an own goal. Great ball in from Delo. Nearly an own goal. Not quite, but nearly. Diego Delo is going to take this one. We're going to go for Vakalevsky at the uh, at the near post. And we're going to go for the classic flick on. Vakalevsky does win it. Shaq Fatidis can't get there. It's bounced off the back of his head. And, uh, well, now we might be in a bit of trouble here because we need to track the run. They've gone into Asmoon. Dantas sort of gives him a little fake option. It goes out to Druisi, who is uh, not robbed. He manages to hold on to the ball. Santos. Barrios goes over the top looking for Druisi. It would be absolute killer if Zenit score now because it is so undeserved. Santos. We've brought Benkovic out to try and chase the ball down. D'Souza puts it through. It's a touch on the ball from Torres. Santos is still there trying to get it. It goes into D'Souza again and Druisi's turned and it's a good save. And uh, as soon as we clear this one away, that will be game, set, match. Noting the time to do that. Nil, nil. Zenit could have won it at the end. They've also headed it very close over their own bar. I felt like we're the better team. I felt like we've dominated that game and we've come away empty-handed. But four points from two games in the group stage, not too bad. And Ross County beat Sporting Braga. Big up to Ross County. Hertha Berlin beat Everton. You've got to think that's part of the uh, Zahovic players helping them out there. But it looks like that. So the game against Ross County, pretty big. Coming up next in the Europa League. But before that, Syria at Atlanta. So we're back for Syria at action. And it's Atalanta versus Cagliari. High-flying Atalanta. 
uh, who are having a fantastic season this season in the early stages. Up there in fourth at the moment, Cagliari find themselves in sixth. Uh, just a long journey back from Russia, which could poo prove problematic for Cagliari. They've had to rotate a few players. A Cregano comes back in goal after being replaced by Neto for the Europa League. Uh, we have Tavares on the left and Delo starting on the right. Sorloff and Xerxy get their league partnership back uh, back together sort of thing. And uh, Cristante is back in central midfield. It's, 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 a, it's a good lineup. There's, there's nothing too much wrong with it. But um, yeah, it's, it's a number of changes and it does see a, a drop off in team spirit. But luckily this man is back in goal because Cregano has been an absolute beast for us. Cristante can turn and get this one away. Delo into Gio who comes in to replace Shaq Fatidis for this one. Um, only real enforced change was Gonzalez, the striker who came on against Zenit, has picked up a six day injury. So uh, he will be missing today's game entirely. Uh, Shaq Fatidis drops out of the squad because he's on a down red. Tavares on the ball. Looks long early for Xerxes. He can't quite get there. And you've got to remember this At Atalanta team have got a young Wes Morgan in their ranks at the back. Very good uh, in the air. And obviously in his prime, won the Premier League with Leicester City as uh, Papu Gomez has it now. And Zapata is in the middle and he's a very good striker. Delo has defended that really well. Messed up the clearance a little bit. Torres... Is uh, very composed at the back. Cristante into Delo. He looks up towards Sorloff. And I think that was actually the defender that won that one. As Xerxes plays that into space. Can Tavares keep that in? Yes, he can. We'll go for a bit of an early cross. In towards Sorloff at the back post. Headed away by Wes Morgan. And that's what I mean. It's tough. It's going to be tough putting those balls in the air. And uh, we only have Brenner on the bench. Brenner and Seri on the bench uh, for attacking options today. And... Brenner's not the quickest. He has been brought in as a very much an emergency striker when it's needed. That's not a good pass. And uh, Seri, obviously we know what Seri's game is. He can come on and replace Xerxes or Sorloff and win the headers. Pessina up to Zapata. He's got Malinovsky outside of him and uses him. Back to Zapata, the striker. He's got Vakalevsky for company. Good ball in towards the back post. Low and the striker both miss it. 20 minutes in, it's been pretty much... Nothing, really. Nothing to write home about. We're going to try and fire this one into Shaq Fertitis' feet. Draw one of their defenders out, which does work. And Torres, Torres could be in here. And he's picked out Sorloff. Sorloff fancies a go. Tried to have a little bending effort into the far corner. But ugh, that man again. Where's Morgan? Closing us down and making life difficult. We are. They're bo both teams are playing three at the back, which is always a little bit more difficult. Uh, we may need to mix it up into a... 4-3-3 three, three at some point but uh, I, want, I want to give this a chance because if we can get the ball wide into oh my god that wasn't meant to happen if we can get it wide into Delo and Tavares both of them have got good crosses on them it's just we need to get the opportunities there as lanes back to Papu Gomez talking about good wingers Papu Gomez is definitely one of them and Everton Felipe's pushed on here Molovovsky's there which means we should have if we can win this ball back we should have a counter attack on Back it goes to Frula. Frula tries to get past Gio. Gets back out to Papu Gomez again. There's a cross that comes in. Vakalevsky gets a touch. And uh, Benkovic will just look to hook this one away. Sorloff gets the touch. Flicks it into space. And Tavares wins the race to get there. He's got Sorloff going again. Doesn't quite manage to find the feet of the big striker. But unlucky. Oh, he has this time though. Tavares into Sorloff. On one more to, uh, to Gio. And Gio has runners in front of them. And one of them is Delo. Delo looks for Xerxes. And oh, that's a lucky touch from the defender. He definitely didn't mean it. Gio looks for Diego Delo. It's a good ball. Diego Delo could be in. Cuts it across. Keeper saves it. Tavares is there. He cannot miss. He doesn't miss. And Nuno Tavares gets his first goal for the club. Come on. It was basically one winger to the other. A great ball from Gio there. Well, we'll see it here. Into Xerxes. Into Gio. Look at the space. Lovely weighted ball into Delo. Fired it across goal. Keeper got a touch. He had to do something with it. Otherwise, Tavares would have scored anyway. But can only palm it into Nuno Tavares. And the left back slash left midfielder gets his first goal for the club. You love to see it. And uh, with that, it is Atalanta, the home team, that get the game back underway. But back underway at 1-0 down as uh, Malinovsky comes forward here. Tavares has done well to catch him up. And that should just about stay in play as Benkovic is... I hate that. Why has he done that? So, Papu Gomez with the corner. 
Looks to swing this one in. Xerxes under it. Gets it away only as far as Everton. Felipe is taking a deflection and Dijmiti's there. And is he onside? I think he is. And that is 1-1 just like that. A corner in. Xerxes headed it away. Not the best clearance, but Everton's shot just saved. Easy goal. I think it's one of the centre-backs. And, well, you can argue that two defenders have scored today. And then we'll see it again here. Xerxes swings. Oh, sorry. Papagomez puts it in. Xerxes heads it away. Everton Philippe with a shot. Through a crowd of players. But, ah, oh, Cregano. I've been building you up, man. That's not good goalkeeping. And uh, less than, what, two minutes later, it is 1-1 as Atalanta find themselves back in this game. Tavares wins a throw-in off Malinowski. But, uh, yeah, five minutes to go, 1-1. You've got to be disappointed if you can't keep the lead for more than more than two minutes. You're always at your most vulnerable after you score a goal. Nino out towards Diego Delo. Let's cross a little bit from deep here. In towards Sorloff. Can't quite win the header. Again, it feels like it would be a great game. Oh, oh no way, ref. No way. A good game built for Gonzalez here. A bit more pace, but don't have that option on the bench today. Cristante, good header there. Good good way to win it. Z uh, Sorloff has got it, and he's got lots of uh, options here. And he's got one of them, his goal scorer, Tavares. And Tavares can look this one in. In towards Cristante. Now, I'm not going to say the computer's cheated there. But Carnesci was well off his line very early before I'd even decided to make that pass. So maybe I should have... Taking a, a different option. Tavares has it again here. Cristante is up the pitch again. Manages to flick that one through. Can Gio get there? Gio is going to get there. And it's a good save from the keeper again. There's a good little, again, build-up. Poor goal kick and we won it. Tavares here into Cristante. Reverse pass into Gio. And there's the hit. Good save. So Delo's going to take the corner. Cristante is going to go short. And he's got a bit of time and space here. And that is not what I expected to happen there. Delo, first time cross, no, it's blocked back out to Cristante, he can't get there either, cleared away, what a waste of a corner, according that we've got a team full of pretty much giants, that was a waste, Torres, Xerxes gives him a good run, and Xerxes knocks it down, Sorloff, oh, it's half time, and Xerxes again, he was running, hand in the air, calling for it, picked him out with Torres, header back across, and Sorloff's volley flies over the bar, half time, 1-1, one, one. okay, no changes at half time, going to stick with it a little bit longer, doesn't look like Atalanta have made any either, As, uh, let's see if we can just push them back a little bit, we're not going to push them back with a pass like that, oh that's a terrible touch, and Delo is going to pounce, Diego Delo, Diego though still going, oh there's nobody there, I've cut the ball right across the goal. Where are the strikers? Where's the opposite winger? Nobody's there. Unbelievable. Tavares. Torres can flick it down the line looking for Gio. Dijmiti, the goal scorer, is going to uh, win that race, though. And that's all risky pass, but cleared away well. Zapata can look to turn. Out to Everton. Felipe. Malinowski into Papu Gomez. He's got Everton out there again. Uses him. And Everton, Felipe is in a, a, a good position here. And he managed to get a cross in and... Well, Nino challenge with Zapata. And, uh, well, we're getting a bit bit lucky there on the old clearances, but it's going to work out in our favour, sort of. Malinowski into Zapata. Keeper stays on his line. Why is Cragano not coming off his line? It's 2-1 Atalanta, and it turns around just like that. Lovely passing from Atalanta, but a little quick one, too. Cragano, come off your line and get it, son. Put him under pressure. 2-1. All right, we need to try and do the quick... The quick goal back that they did to us when we went ahead. And, uh, well, that is, that's a good win there from Torres. Cristante's pass is a bit poor, though. Can't find Xerxes. Lenez into Hajdari. Back to Lenez. And Cristante should pick that one up. Picks out Xerxes. Xerxes picks out Delo. And we've been in this position before. Diego Delo cuts it across. And, oh, my God, why didn't it select Xerxes? Why didn't it select Xerxes? Unbelievable. Right, Gio. What have you got, son? Swing this one into the box. Gio puts it in. Vakalevsky beaten in the air by Morgan. Tavares. Please say you got onside. You didn't get onside, did you? No, which is why it wants me to chase it down with Sorloff. But it's a throw-in. Take the throw-in into Gio's feet. Gio can give it back to Tavares, who's picked out some good space here all the way across. But oh, now I was looking for Delo that time. Kaneshi just uh, gobbles it up nice and easy. Half an hour to go and... I get, it's another game where I don't know how we're not winning. I honestly don't understand how we're not winning. Philippe comes forward. Torres uh, does really well to, to win that off him that easily. Benkovic. 
Vak oh my god, Vakalevsky. That's one the pass wasn't meant for you, and two, that's a shocking, shocking touch. Everton, Philippe again on it. Oh, he's done me there. He's absolutely done Vakalevsky. Tries to put the cross in. It'll be a corner. They've already scored from one of these today. And it's going to be Papu Gomez to take it again. Albeit a bit fortuitously, they did score from one before. And Solov is up well to head that one away. Malinovsky dipping effort. Oh, not bad. So, a triple substitution. We're going for the kill. Jordi Mbula and Hlozek come on to replace Nino and Gio. And Brenner comes on up top to replace uh, Zerkzy. It's a 4-4-2, which is very attacking with attacking fullbacks as well. It's going to leave us open at the back, but I'm hoping the, the the four at the back should be fine as long as Diego Delo and Tavares can get back in time. But I'm hoping that the attacking outlets give us more options against their three at the back. So we'll have to uh, wait and see if it pans out at the back as Lanes just dances around Diego Delo. Gets it back from Zapata. Papu Gomez into Frola. Cristante's read that really, really well. Sorloth can look all the way out. Oh, he nearly got through. Sorloth, stick out a leg and get there. He doesn't. Papu Gomez is going to get this one. He's hit that straight into Benkovic. Torres up to Brenner. It's his first outing in a Cagliari shirt. And he's got that one through to Jordi and Bula. Jordi and Bula shoots. It's hit the post. Can you believe this game? What do I have to do to score here? 20 minutes to go. We win the ball in central midfield. Brenner picks it up. A lovely little ball through the outside of the boot. Jordi and Bula's there. I go top corner and it hits the angle of the vertical and horizontal beams. Unbelievable. So I don't know what this sorcery is today, but we just cannot score in this episode. As a Malin, I mean, we've scored one, but we, we, that's our, that seems to be our maximum that Pez is allowing today. Papu Gomez under pressure from Benkovic. Malinovsky is going to... Have a bit of loose control, but we caught Papu Gomez late. We did with Benkovic. I saw it. I saw the advantage being played. A definite free kick. I just feel like there's, there's got to be more chances in us for this. Malinovsky goes long. and Diego Delo tries to place himself well. It's not the best header away. Delo is going to come away with the ball, though. And he can pick out Jordi Mbula. And Jordi Mbula can... Ref, thank you. Thank you, ref. Right, we're going to take this one short. Out there, Diego Delo calling for it. He knows he's got time and space. He can hook it in towards... The back post. Lozek can't win it. Tavares is there. First time cross back in towards Brenner. Brenner with a header. And Karnasecchi. Easy save at the end, but Brenner should do better. And that's where you're like, I wish that was Alberto Seri because the head, the power on the header would just be more. How is that a foul ref? Pipe down. Lozek picks up the loose ball. He's got Sorloff in front of him. Sorloff can turn and put this one through. Oh, it's good defending. Good defending. Maybe it should have gone over the top. Jordi bula has got the pace. We know that. Pasina. Out to Everton, Philippe, who's going to have Benkovic for, for company. Sticks that through to substitute Maranchuk. Philippe again up against Benkovic. And good ball in, should be keepers it is. Krugano, come on, let's go. Let's go, try and hit Saul off. We've gone for, well, Jordi and Bula up against Wes Morgan. And, well, and Bula's done very well to win that header. And Brenner couldn't get on the end of it. Ten minutes to go. I don't want to say I'm starting to get a bit frantic, but I'm starting to get a bit frantic. Jordi and Bula can't close the ball down well enough. Karneshi goes out to Jimisti, whose goal got them back in this. And then Zupata currently has the game-winning goal. Eight minutes to go up to Zapata. Just as you say his name, he gets involved in the game. Cristante with a great challenge, right? We should have options here. Klozek is one of them out wide. Klozek, Tavares still full of running, and Tavares... Is in a position here to do something. Tries to lay it back. Brennan's going to get there. Can lay it off to Diego Delo. It wasn't the best cutback. Delo swings it in. Hlozek with a header. Oh, come on. Oh, what a waste. A waste of such good opportunities. Brenner, I kept it alive with Brenner into Delo. The cross was a bit too, not, it's too close to the penalty spot. Not close to the six-yard box. Oh, gutting. With uh, just under five minutes to go. Tashiev's going for a run. Down the line, and he's got. Well, he's he's, he's just beaten Ambula for pace. But how's he feeling defensively? He's not loving it. So Brenner can flay that one inside. Klozek tries to flick it on. Referee's going to play the advantage there for Atalanta, and it goes up to Zapata, who manages to poke the ball out to Everton Philippe. And you've sort of got to think our hopes of a winner are fading, and it's just about getting a chance and trying to get a draw out of this. Cristante can turn and play it up the line towards Jordi Ambula. Cristante again. There's Tavares has got loads of space on that side. Tavares 
Tavares can put this one in. In towards Brenner. Where's Morgan with yet another header at the back? And it's rushed away. This is it. Last 40 seconds. And it's going to be a yellow card for Hozek for a, an earlier bad tackle. But we don't want to see that. Let's get this going. Right. What can we do here? Torres, go down the line. Take it quickly. Torres. Can turn. Can you put a cross in? You can put a cross in. Soloff is the man you want on it. It's hit the back stanchion and it's full time at 2-1. And that is a killer. I thought it was in. Duvan Zapata is the difference maker. Oh, we've battered them. We've absolutely battered them. How close was that one at the end? I want to see if I can find it. Because it felt like it was so... It felt like it was in. It felt like it was in. That one from Sorloth at the end. It felt like it was a goal. The way it connected with it. The build-up. The cross... The header. It felt like it was a goal. It felt like it was a goal. Jordi Bula had a shot in the 69th minute. Uh, Hlozek in the 86th. I mean, look at these chances we created. We'll look at the, the stats in a minute, but oh, that went past the post. Hlozek was gutted about it. And this one here, Sorloff. Torres, I just took my time, and I was like, now's the time to cross it. On his right foot, Sorloff with the header. Oh, my word, it's so close. It is so close. Oh, gutting. Absolutely gutting. Then you get eight shots to five, four on target and three on target for us. We've just got, I think it was Ross that put in the comments a while ago, you just need a clinical striker up front. And that is a difficulty on full manual, but that's that's how the cookie crumbles. We fall to eighth, um, Atalanta go up to second. So good for them, that result. But yeah, just need to turn it around somehow really do next up Coppa Italia we'll do all the early rounds of that because we should get through we normally get drawn against a division two team so we should get through that pretty easily but uh yeah we'll have a quick look they're saying we should rotate the squad for the the cup game which is fine like I, I just pick whoever's up for it to be honest um well Ross County and Torino that's who we'll be back for next it'll be after the two legs of the cup the second round so yeah, Ross County and then Torino. So we will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. It's been great to have you with me. I hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know in the comments below. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.